want to just uh, wrap up. Then we've got about we've got a ten minute segment roughly to finish up with here. I've uh, <clears throat> we've got uh, the story that you 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 and uh, Gunter met very young, then um, thirty years later after much interesting uh, stories that we've heard about, you were finally married, and then. Um, Tell us and then about what I didn't. Yeah, tell us about what you didn't know when when you got married, what you discovered uh, in the course of of uh, your marriage, and then what you discovered after he passed away. Okay, well, I um, all of that in ten minutes. When I married him, That's a I challenge, thought that he it? was. I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought he was a naval officer that had retired from the navy and was a U.S. attorney. He's CIA. What am I going to do? Throw him out or try to figure out why he's CIA? Well, as I was married to him, I figured out why he was CIA. He was part of a covert unit within the CIA that was made up almost exclusively of his cousins from, uh, from Europe and from Eastern Europe, from Hungary and Romania and Poland and all sorts of places like that. And they were the people who had grouped together and they call themselves Faction 2 and they are the people that put in place a plan to take down the Federal Reserve. Uh, he was first arrested and he was charged with kidnapping my niece. And that was just about the most ridiculous charge. We brought her back from uh, Tacoma, Washington, in the plane with us, and they convinced her parents to charge uh, to allow them, the FBI convinced her parents to allow them to charge him with kidnapping so they could arrest him. And of course, the parents went along with that. You know, so usually in other words, when, he was in yeah. prison for nothing to do with the October surprise. E exactly. Illegally. In the beginning. In the beginning. And so they held him for several months on kidnap, and then I threatened to go public with it with my mother, and they changed charges to misuse of government aircraft. And then they sentenced him to two years in prison for misuse of the government aircraft. And at one point in there, they tried to kill him. And he called Rodney Stitch, who wrote uh, The Unfriendly Skies, and he also wrote a book called Defrauding America. And he said to Rodney Stitch, if I die before, uh, if I die, I want you to tell Raylan what the real reason is why they murdered me. And so he dictated this long thing about the October surprise and about who he was and all of this, things that he had never told me before. singing voice, doesn't he? President Obama is turning America's back on the moon. Instead, he wants NASA to focus on the future. It has been nearly 40 years since the last moonwalk. Now, after spending more than $9 billion on plans to return to the moon, NASA is putting that dream back on the shelf. President Obama wants to boost NASA's budget, he says, but none of the money would go to a moon mission. Instead, he wants the money spent on developing new technology. So let's talk about it with that astronaut you saw bouncing around there. Gene Cernan, the final astronaut to walk on the moon. Takes you back, doesn't it, Gene, watching those pictures? Yeah, it sure does. You had to have a little fun while you were there, John. I'm sure it was fun. I'm certainly envious. A lot of people are. Uh, but obviously, uh, the president said, you know, these are lean times in this country. We've, we've kind of already been there and done that. What do you think about the idea to cancel this moon program, the Orion program? Well, uh, you know, I think I'm, I'm extremely disappointed, angry at, uh, at, at a time or two. Uh, we talk about an investment in the future. He's taking that investment and put it on a shelf as far as I'm concerned. Uh, 
Uh, I don't care how people want to sugarcoat it. We are no longer a space exploration, a spacefaring nation. We are now put in a position of, uh, of second place. And what we don't do today, someone I can promise you, someone else is going to do tomorrow. And I don't think the American people are going to like that. Yeah, the Chinese are getting pretty aggressive with their efforts to get a manned moon mission underway, aren't they? Well, I think they are. We hear they are. And I think we can expect... Uh, Oh, almost anything. Uh, there's so many ramifications about, we're talking about $3 billion for a period in the next five years. We're talking about a uh, 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 $100 billion to create jobs. Well, we're not only not creating jobs by taking that money away from NASA's Constellation Program, we're, 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 we're removing the jobs that exist and the jobs that could exist no longer are there. I, I just don't understand the logic behind it. There isn't uh, unanimity, though, in the astronaut corps about the wisdom of this decision. Let me read to you, and you've probably already heard it, what Buzz Aldrin had to say, the second man to walk on the moon. He said, I wish to endorse strongly the president's new direction for NASA. The truth is that we have already been to the moon some 40 years ago. A near-term focus on lowering the cost of access to space and on developing key cutting-edge technologies to take us further faster is just what our nation needs to maintain its position as the leader in space exploration for the rest of this century. What do you say to that? Well, Buzz and I have disagreed on a lot of things, and it's certainly that one. Although I, 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 Buzz does want to go back to Mars, and I, I support that. But I, I believe we should do it in a logic, logical stepping stone process. At the end of this year, the space shuttle is to be retired. I, I, Buzz does want to go back to Mars, and I, I support that. But I, I believe we should do it. I, I, Buzz does want to go back to Mars, and I, I support that. But I, I believe we should do it. I, I, Buzz does want to go back to Mars, and I, I support that. But I, I believe we should do it.